G'day. G'day guys, um, hope everyone is well. Uh, another crab mission today and doing it a little bit differently. So normally um, I would just drop four pots, hang out in that area and just kind of fish and stuff all day, checking the pots throughout the day. But um, today we're actually gonna be dropping four pots in four random locations. So I'll drop a pot, jump in the car, go for a drive, drop another one. Um, I've got a couple of spots that have been uh, suggested to me by a very friendly fella on the, um, online who lives here. Also a couple of spots that I've kind of sussed out myself that are, that look pretty good as well. Uh, yeah, four different spots, feeling pretty confident. Should be good. It's hot, sweating already, 7 a.m. <laughs> Let's get into it. She's boggy. But it looks ideal, we've got to run off here. There's a creek that goes up that way, so. Get a get a pot out and tie it up to that tree. Beautiful. <clears throat> All right, pot number one. All right, now you watch how good I tie this. If this is gone, there is no way. No, it's been taken by the tide. So just coming into our second spot and this spot I um I hunted it out myself one day I just came exploring and it's a it's a bit of a hike you gotta walk like 20 minutes from where you park your car to actually get here. Any crocodiles? Alright guys spot number two uh yeah like I mentioned I, I found this spot myself and to me it looks um it's the most appealing spot out of all the drops we'll be doing today so um yeah it definitely looks apart you got your main creek up that way which is not too far so um it should still have plenty of salt water in it hopefully Rightio, at our um, third spot, and this spot I literally uh, just figured it out probably five minutes ago that I was going to come here. As you can see, there's a bit of noise, and we're under a structure. So, um, yeah, I thought it looked pretty good. What I'm going to do is cut through the, uh, the bushes here, and there is a bit of a runoff. So, tide's nice and low at the moment. Let's go for a bit of a wander. This is kind of cool, nice and shady, like a bit of a mang mangrove forest. Look how tall they are. So my heart rate is just going nuts at the moment because of the heat. I'm drinking heaps of water, but because of the heat and like the humidity, it's just really work my heart you can feel it like oh, we've come to the uh <clears throat> we've come to the spot and it's looking pretty good it's just got a trickle of water in there at the moment but that's that tide's about to turn and that's going to fill up so um definitely looks like a good spot to chuck a pot i reckon there's 
a crab hole down there, but I think it's old. That will fill up with water. All this will be just full of water. Give it a good tide turn. All right, our um, fourth and final pot. So um, this is the spot we're at before. You can see, I don't know if you can see it, but there's our, our other pot over there. Um, and I've just come to this side, bit of an nest bend here. So there is a crocodile looking at me right there. And he's going down. What a classic. He's going under, he knows I've seen him. He just popped his head up again, the cheeky little bugger. He's full stalking me. Literally just stuck his head up, had a squeeze, and then went back down. He's right there. Just a little banger. I'm, um, I'm very high from the water, so no dramas there. That's incredible. Over there, you've got the green shrub. His head's up, he's right in front of me. He's just, he's a tiny little crab. I mean, <laughs> he's a tiny little croc. There he is, beautiful. Right, so um, yeah, we might go for a bit of a fish. The tide is just stupidly high at the moment. Also, I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna try a weedless vibe. I've never really used um, weedless vibes, and they they call me Snagmaster 5000, and I just constantly lose lures. So let's give weedless a crack, and uh, yeah, we'll see how we go with that one. Never used one of these before, so I heard they do pretty well. We'll give this a crack. Go super prawn. This whole episode has been worth it. We have got ourselves an absolute perler of a female mud crab. And just to add to the success, we got ourselves a great big beautiful stonking puffer fish. What a haul, but we're gonna let these guys go. Freedom! Freedom! one has a rock in it. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh dude. There's a crab on the outside of it. Oh man, it's a hard gig. So I'm here at uh, <clears throat> the last pot and it's gone. It's just completely gone. I did a double knot around that tree there. <clears throat> right next to a boat ramp. And it's just gone. There's a pot down there that's been moved. 
my pot has just vanished off the face of the earth. It's tied up right here. Nowhere to be seen. I did a double knot around this tree. There's no way. Oh my God, we got a stonker. Yes. Redemption. Not a bad crab at all. That has to be size. It's a female, god damn it. That is one big female. Let's have a better look at her. <laughs> You're out, love. You've had a good, good nip of the bait, haven't you? <laughs> have a look at that, guys. That is the biggest female crab I've ever seen. Let's chuck a measure on it. Beautiful, beautiful female crab. That is massive. That is the biggest female crab I've ever seen. So in the NT, you're allowed to keep, you're allowed to keep females. I'm not gonna keep her. I feel bad. I like, I just, I wanna, yeah, I wanted to spawn. I wanted to respawn, have children. But you are allowed to keep these in the NT. Now I'm pretty sure it's 14 centimeters or it's 15 centimeters for her to be legal. This is a 15 centimeter measure. Let's see how she goes. Oh my god, she is like 30 mil oversized. I don't know if you can see that. But have a look at that. That's like 30 mil. That is a giant giant female crab <laughs> you're lovely you can tell because she's got you've probably heard it 900 times but for the people that don't know or from the people back home male crabs have a v this is more of an oval shaped under her belly there so that's how you know she's a female and also her nippers they're always smaller she's nice and rusty She's nice and solid. She would be a good eating crab, but. Oh well. At least we've got something now. <laughs> See you later, old girl. Go make lots of babies. You're a beautiful crab. And you can have your stick. We'll see you soon. Freedom! Wow guys, that was insane. A lot of people have gone, dude, why'd you throw it out the way for? But I don't know, I've just, in Queensland, I've just never caught, I never kept females and you want them to reproduce, you want the crabs to keep on coming. So she was a dinosaur of a female, beautiful mud crab. Let me know in the comments if, um, if you think that was a stonker, because um, to me, that was a bloody stonker. That was like 20, anywhere between 20 to 30 mil oversized for a female crab. Um, yeah, to my knowledge, that was um, very, a lot bigger than average. So that's a good sign. Um, it's brought up the enthusiasm, put us in good spirits. So um, pot's back in. These are all gonna soak overnight. We're done with crabbing for today. Uh, we'll have a quick fish and then we'll head home. <laughs>